This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. Well, the world woke up this morning to news of a gruesome chemical weapons attack that left dozens of innocent Syrians dead. The BBC is reporting that the Syrian Observatory for Human Rights said that the strikes on the Syrian village by Syrian government or Russian jets had caused many people to choke and suffocate, and that later, aircraft fired rockets at local clinics which were treating survivors. Of course, a Syrian military source has denied that the government had had used any such weapons, and Russian's defense ministry insisted it had not carried out any airstrikes in the vicinity. Mm -hmm. So we've heard from two of the almost certain culprits, close allies Vladimir Putin and Bashar al-Assad. What we haven't heard is a message of condemnation against those murderous tyrants from Donald Trump's White House. It is likely that we're not going to hear such a message from him since we know how fond of Vladimir Putin he is and has been hard-pressed to find anything too negative to say of Bashar al-Assad. In fact, it was only months ago on the campaign trail that Donald Trump had this to say about the genocidal maniac in Syria. Russia and Iran, which is now a power, we've made them a power, they're backing Assad. We've got to get rid of ISIS. We've got to get rid of the people that but are chopping off everybody's but head. You say you have have a good relationship with Putin or would have a good relationship? I think with I would have a very good relationship, but, but who knows? So I mean, could you know. convince Putin to get Assad to step aside? Well, they've been trying to do that. Yeah. Could I? I don't think it's that important, to be honest with you. Yeah, meh. Getting rid of Assad, who systematically murders his own citizens in not only bombing raids, but also door-to-door assassination runs through cities and villages throughout Syria, according to Donald Trump, meh, that's not important. You know what is important to Trump, though? Not saying anything negative about his tyrant pal Putin and Putin's closest dictatorial allies like Bashar al-Assad. Look, This is in no way surprising to any of us who've been paying attention. Donald Trump admires these war criminals and human rights violators. He wants to emulate them and their leadership style. If he had an easier route around our Constitution, I'm sure he would. The bizarre thing is about what the White House did say in response to this brutality. They failed to speak ill of Assad or Putin, but instead pointed to Barack Obama. Yeah, they blamed Obama for this tragedy rather than the men who actually committed and perpetrated the crime. Every day that passes proves that there's always a new low for Donald Trump and his cronies to stoop to. Children, along with other civilians, were slaughtered today. We're keeping the Syrian people in our thoughts, and it is on their behalf that we demand Trump begins acting like a responsible world leader before even more innocents are murdered.